starting off this morning in Waycross, Georgia. And it looks like I'm gonna have to stop for this train. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today is gonna be a good day. I cannot predict the course of the events that will transpire over this day. But if you go in with it, it's the Daily Woo. Stopping off now at Southern Forest World and inside this forestry museum, behind that train in that building, is something incredibly unusual. They have on display an animal found inside a tree log, similar to this one, named Stucky the Petrified Dog. Actually, the more I think about it, the tree would become petrified. The dog was mummified. And I just realized I didn't have any cash on me since they don't take credit cards. I had to count out $5 and change to be granted admission. I am now inside and now that I see this, I am wondering how well do I really know pine cones? In reality, I really don't know pine cones that well. Showing the way wood is used in the making of guitars. And there's a pretty cool mural here on the wall. Looks like I see Teddy Roosevelt in there and even Babe Ruth down in the corner. This is an example of the growth of trees after five years and then up into 15 years and then 25 years. It just shows the process of how quickly or how slowly that they grow. How many factory workers in Georgia are employed by a forest related industry? Do you have any idea? 80,000. Oh my goodness. There it is. The sign stating the fact that there is a mummified dog inside that log. The environmental conditions in this chestnut oak were sufficient enough to preserve the animal. A chimney effect occurred in the hollow tree, resulting in an upward draft of air, causing the scent of the dead animal to be carried away. Otherwise, it would have attracted insects and other organisms that feed on dead animals. And that is how he stayed intact. Are you ready for this? He's waiting for us. They have preserved it even further by putting glass over it. It's gonna be very hard to get a good shot here because the reflection is very strong. But look at that. Look down in there. Holy cow, that's him. Stucky, the petrified dog, he exists. He just has been chilling in there for decades. This is extremely terrifying. And what is this little bag over to the right of him? Well, his left, our right. It's like he's in there with a bag. Is that like a, a bag of snacks and food? Or is that something that's kept in there to keep him from decaying even more. Go ahead, look in here. What's <laughs> this guy's feeding a gator. That gator is bigger than he is. Someone has carved an eagle out of a tree itself there. Wooden eagle carved from a portion of a pine tree. Thankfully, this hornet's nest is not full of the hornets themselves and it's just a display because I probably wouldn't be able to get this close to it without being stung. Stepped into the back courtyard and look at the size of this. Look at the width of that tree. That's, that's pretty incredible. These might be some of the largest wind chimes I've ever seen. They're taller than I am. I don't think I did that correctly. I am not as eloquent as a breeze. I've always been a big fan of Smokey the Bear, but I never actually thought that I would become Smokey the Bear. But you never know. Sometimes things just happen. There's even a children's play area that looks like a spider web and looming over the netting is this creepy spider. But you could Pretend that you're Gwen Stefani in there. I'm walking in the spider webs. Leave a message and I'll call you back. A little more information on this tree stump 
it has the diameter of 106 inches. And you can stand inside of it. You want to go in there? You want to check it out? Let's go in. We're standing inside a tree, looking upwards through the exposed top. It looks like this used to be a hole in the tree. Maybe it was sealed in, or maybe the hole is slowly starting to formulate. So you start with this, uh -huh. and then the finished product are these? Yes, and this one actually wow. has a lid on it. How long does it take to make one of these? Eight to 12 hours. Eight to 12 hours. So you have to be really dedicated. Or ADD. <laughs> and retired. <laughs> all, th all couple of those things. In the center of the main building, you can walk up inside a fake tree that they have created and built that stretches to the roof. And if you look down, down there, that's that log. That's that log that the mummified dog is in. Be very quiet, don't wake him. That is one beastly looking chainsaw. That thing could do some damage. I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around Stucky the dog. Just, it's an incredible story and he's just, he's just hanging out down there in that piece of wood. Oh, you're gonna open the case for me? Oh my gosh, I can get an up close look. If you get it just right, you should be able to see his ribs. His ribs? Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get this side of him. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see his ribs down in yeah. there. See. Oh my goodness. Which you can't do it if you don't have some kind of lightning on it. <laughs> wow. Such a crazy story. Yes. And I actually got to meet the guy that I, this wood was, this block of wood was cut down and actually put on a trailer before they found out that the dog was in there. I talked to the guy that actually put this on the trailer and he said he put it on and he got off to walk the trailer to, to check his wood, how he had it stacked on there. And he noticed him in there? All he could see was claws. He said, he said, I jump. He said, it scared me. He said, I didn't know what was facing to jump out at me. The people running the place are very informative and very kind. They gave me a couple bumper stickers and a t-shirt for free. I told them they didn't have to and they said, no, 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 take this. So thank you. Really appreciate it. It looks like one of those paintings you'd see in a Bugs Bunny or a Roadrunner cartoon. You can't actually drive through that tunnel. Remember when Wile E. Coyote would throw the fake hole in the wall and the Roadrunner would still run through it? And then Wiley would try to run through it and then smash into the bricks? Classic. There are some seriously antique relics behind that fence. Old classic cars just rusting away there. Wow, pretty cool. Lots of them back in there. There's an old water slide there behind the weeds. No longer in use, but there was a lot of good times that were had there, as well as at the roller rink and the bowling alley, all of which are no longer in business. When I was young, I spent a lot of time at water parks, and when I lived in Eufaula, Oklahoma, they had a water slide just like this. It was just like a little local two or three flumed one. Just seeing this brings back a lot of memories from my youth. I'm currently heading east, well, more southeast, really, but this is Highway 1. It's the number one highway, or at least that's what they labeled it. And we are completely engulfed in trees. These little teeny tiny ones, they're either just planted or they are in the one to five year range, judging on the little display I saw back there at the museum. They're baby trees. I hear the train coming. It's rolling round the bend. There it goes. Dang. I just started singing, Big the Foot. I just started singing. Fail. Entering downtown Folkestone, Georgia. Right along the train tracks. They take their trains very seriously in this town. In fact, right across the tracks there, 
they have built a little viewing area. They say 60 trains a day pass right through here. Another little hangout area on this side as well. And currently there are a few people waiting for the next train to pass here at the area they call the Folkestone Funnel. They even made a sign that's dangling from the roof there. Does that run off of a VHS or is that digital? I haven't used one of those since I was a kid. See, that's. I hear one coming. Oh, wow, yeah, it's got a pretty good zoom on it. And it runs off the old VHS tapes. You don't see those anymore. Still, still in use. Oh. I realized in the short while I stood there talking to all the locals that I know very little about trades. They take it very seriously here. I'm now on Highway 40, but most people refer to this as the Oka Finoki Parkway. That's what it's really called. Winn Dixie Grocery Stores. I worked for this company for about two years. One year in the early 90s and then another year probably in the early 2000s. I was a stock crew manager and I also worked in the dairy department. The Boy Scouts are doing a food drive out front, so I'm going to contribute some chicken of the sea. Gave the non-perishable items to them. And I have some perishables in here that I'm going to consume. I got myself a ham and cheddar wrap, a, is that a bushel of celery. It's not, maybe not a bushel, but a bunch of celery and some delicious fruit. Look at that. I'm really gonna try to start eating a little bit better. I'm not gonna go on a crash diet like I have in the past. I'm not gonna do something extreme, but you will notice from here till hopefully the rest of the future, me peppering in a little bit more fruits and vegetables into my life, into these vlogs, into my regiment of what I'm eating. My body definitely needs to lose a little bit of weight and it needs a little bit of nutrients flourishing around more than what I have been consuming in the past six, seven, eight months. Oh man, that's good. Oh man, you want some? You want a piece? Which one do you want? Just take one, just take it. Vlog over.